Jo, už jo. Hmm. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to an uh, edition of It's Feeding Time. Now it's sheep's time. I fed them before, though. This is not only when on video, you know. Yes. One of the rams I used. There's another one. I kept them in this, this time of year. Usually I take them out after. So this is uh, beginning of March. And in a couple of seconds, I'm going to show you what I did here earlier today and the difference from here. So I moved the hay that was here over here. So essentially the last day, uh, this is what I do a couple of times a day. It's just every time I go out to do something, I take rounds like this. So this is just to increase or increase the likelihood that they finish up so with all the leftovers they either get thrown under um, as bedding to the youngest calves or if needed sometimes I have my replace or uh, I have my rams on, uh, on bedding as well and then this goes there so essentially they come they find the pieces they like and we eat it and then you know well they finish most of this up then when the the pressments are full completely full <clears throat> they will be soon you can see how they're eating very slowly just like that that means they're really full they eat faster when they're hungrier it's just you know that's how it is and i move this all around that will be the next time i come here today and then the sheep grown-ups will eat this there will be almost nothing left Bells later. And yeah, so essentially now it's time for me to find a place to um, put the camera and get to work. Essentially, what I'm sweeping here now is every single um, uh, leftover grass or hay, and then there are some seeds that were on some of the plants, and every dust, every everything. So I put on a clean surface a new bale. That's really important. Because if you don't clean it like this, it will start to mold on the bottom. And if somehow, some way, some sort of moisture gets in, in between the floor and the and the hay, it will get moldy. So this is a really important part. 
in um, sheep help. So that's how we clean our floors. That's the leftover part. Um, so now, the next part, you can see the change here. We hold these guys up here. I'm gonna put this down, take this with one hand, and then I'm going to, I'm gonna use my foot here, which I never do, because I use my hand. Up. I managed to end up and put it down like this. So this is the feeding height in the beginning after I've put bales in. But while I'm putting the bales in, because I don't want them to be able to put their head through because that's dangerous, the width here is only as wide as the bale is. So I put it back up a certain length one two three four four in my hand and then three and then this one is correct the lower one is one two three four and one which is five and it looks like this such a good cameraman that I am I need to show you everything I do I don't think I am that's five and then it looks kind of like this now there's more space at the top but that's because they have less sun is ruining it just because they have less um, strength to maneuver he up here it's really hard for them to push this in any sort of way to lift it up on the other end I can but they really can't so they can't put their head through this at all I'm gonna do that to every single place That goes separately. 
because the plastic gets recycled. But the net is different composition of plastic, I assume, so it doesn't get recycled. So, and that's what I guess it is. Let's hop on this. The only thing I'm nervous about is that I'm going to have a camera in my hand instead of either one on the steering wheel or, as I always have, when I'm lifting something on this machine, like the other hand here, sorry, so it's quite light here on the back. If something goes up, it's very good to be able to push forward and everything go down. It's not going to be an option. We'll see. We'll try this.
how we do it. This is how we feed our, uh, our sheep. This lasts them for five days. Now obviously tomorrow I'm gonna have to come and lift the first plank. Can I maybe? Yeah, thank you. And lift the first plank up. And the day after that I lift the next one. And then it's uh, once a day is actually. Um, depending on what kind of hay, sometimes I go twice a day. And for them, I kind of go as often as I can, you know, twice a day. And I throw that their leftovers over to the grown ups because I want them, essentially, they're growing up, they need all the energy they can get. And the leftovers are generally not as uh, delicious, so they eat less. Here at the end, I'm just going to show you a couple of pictures how it is uh, before and after, or at least how they gradually eat it down. And here you can see this is the second day. And uh, today it's like this. So this goes really fast. Um, but yeah, I thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope I'll see you with the next one.